What's up, YouTube? All right, so today's question is about the genetic code. And um, it's going to require a bit of creativity because it's asking us about a hypothetical genetic code. But it says, if the genetic code was overlapping and read in doublets, what would be the length of the polypeptide translated from the following sequence? And this is the sequence right here. And you can assume that translation starts from the 5' end, and it can occur without the need for a start codon. So first of all, when I say genetic code, what am I referring to? The genetic code um, is the code that we use to go from DNA uh, to protein. And obviously there's an mRNA in the middle, but basically the genetic code tells us um, what sequences in the DNA will give us certain proteins. And that's important because proteins make up life. And the other thing that I'm going to point out is that the actual genetic code is non-overlapping. So, so there's no overlap in the, non, in the actual genetic code, and it happens in triplets. So if there's anything you take out of this, please remember that the, the actual genetic code is non-overlapping. It happens in triplets. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have an mRNA with the following sequence. The triplet would mean that three base pairs on the mRNA actually code for an amino acid, which is a subset of a protein. Uh, similarly, the fact that it's non-overlapping means that you will always read three amino acids and then three amino acids. Like there will be no overlap. Like something like this, where you take um, two two base pairs from one and one from the previous one, will not happen. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, you cannot have something like this, right? This is not. This would be overlap, and that doesn't happen. So basically, what I mean by that is the actual genetic code is non-overlapping triplets. But now let's talk a bit about this problem, which is telling us if the genetic code was overlapping and read in doublets, what would be the length of the polypeptide translator from the following sequence? So what do I mean by doublets? What I mean by doublets is that two nucleotides here, two nucleotides like this A and G, is enough to code for one amino acid. Before I was talking about triplets, but if we were assuming doublets, I would have to assume that two amino acids, I mean, two nucleotides can lead to one amino acid. So that's what I mean by doublets. Now, what do I mean by overlapping? Well, overlapping would mean that, okay, so these two nucleotides can lead to amino acid. But if it was overlapping, then the next thing that gets read is this, this GNA. So, you know, this would be the first thing that gets read, right? But the second thing that gets read, because overlapping, would be, would be this GNA. And those this GNA would give you an amino acid. And then, similarly, the second thing that gets read is this one. And that's what I mean by overlapping. The point of overlapping is just to show you that our actual genetic code is non-overlapping, but there can easily be an overlapping genetic code. And to show you what overlapping means would is exactly what I just showed right here. This is what it means to be overlapping, and this is what it means to be a doublet. So just remember, there can be many different permutations of this question. I could have easily asked like quadruplet, or I could ask over, or I could have asked non-overlapping. But this was kind of to show you what I mean overall when I say overlapping or non-overlapping, or doublets versus triplets. So now, given that I showed you guys what I mean by doublets and overlapping, let's apply it to this question. Let's apply the fact that we have a doublet code and the fact that the doublet code is overlapping. How many amino acids? Um, can we get out assuming that we have overlap and doublets? Well, let's start. Let's do it. So assuming we start from the 5' prime end, this AG will be our first amino acid, right? Now, where's our second amino acid? Well, if it's overlapping, this is going to be this GA. That's going to be our second amino acid. Now, what's our third amino acid going to be? It's going to be this AG, right? That's going to be our third amino acid. And now you can kind of just get the pattern down, right? If you get the pattern down, this is going to be our fourth amino acid. Similarly, this will be our fifth amino acid. This will be our sixth, because again, remember, we're doing overlapping doublets. Overlapping doublets will mean that we have overlap and their doublets. This will be another amino acid right here, this AG. I'm, I'm circling every now and then so you know what I'm referring to. And last but not least, we're going to have this bad boy, GA, which is going to be our last amino acid. So if you now count the number of amino acids we have, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 
this question, which seemingly you know may have confused you in the beginning, uh, if you go through it step by step, is actually relatively simplistic, and therefore we actually got the answer because we did the work and we were able to show that this occurs for eight amino acids, and therefore the question that's asking is what would be the length of the polypeptide translator from the following sequence? It would have to be eight. So the answer here is D, and I hope you guys understood that, uh, understand the nature of the genetic code, understand what it means for it to be overlapping, doublets, triplets, quadruplets, and with that, you know, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if there are questions that you need help with, I'd be more than happy to run through them. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching the video, really appreciate it. You want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here, another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.